Did you know the average website gets less than a 1% conversion rate? And if you want more visitors to turn into leads and then convert to a customer, you really need to follow up with those people. And I know you're busy if you're running a business or you're just starting one, there's a lot on your plate. So in this video, I wanna break down a simple sales funnel that you can copy and paste and implement for your business. Now this sales funnel is exactly what we've been using for law firms and attorney websites to help them get more customers. Now this also will work for any other type of business because the goal is the follow-up. A lot of times attorneys and law firms just don't have the resources to follow up with every single lead. So we need to automate their marketing so they get better results without manual work. And that's gonna be the same for any type of business out there. So let's dive in to the step-by-step -step framework that I've created that you can copy and paste into your business. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and leave me a comment with your website link below so I can check out your marketing funnel. Let's get you automated. All right, so here's the basic workflow here, and we're gonna review all of these step-by-step. -step. We'll start with step number one. Now this is a most service-based businesses that we work with focus on these things to get the best results. You can't just rely on social media, you can't just rely on SEO, and you can't just rely on ads. When you rely on one system, every six months, these systems and social media and these platforms change. So you can't rely on one because that's gonna change in six months, and then you're gonna have to start fresh or start back and rebuild it. So we always recommend being in multiple places with your company. You wanna be educating, providing value, and getting the word out so people remember you and most important, remember your brand. So for any service-based businesses and especially attorneys and law firms, I highly recommend Google Ads, Google SEO, Bing Ads, because that's where a lot of customers are searching for your service. Of course, Facebook and Instagram retargeting, not so much to draw new people, Facebook groups, and of course, LinkedIn. Now, when anyone is doing any type of marketing, you always wanna send people to a lead magnet or a landing page. If you just send them to your main website, that's for branding purposes only. What we wanna do is get their email right away. And that's where a lead magnet comes in, where we wanna make sure that we get their email and we don't let them get lost in our website. So a lot of times when you send somebody to your website, they're gonna go through your pages and maybe they're on their phone most likely, they're gonna get distracted and they're gonna bounce. They're gonna leave and they'll never come back. But the landing page gets an email address so you can follow up with them. And that's the key, is once you send them to a lead magnet, give them a great offer so you can build that relationship with other things like videos and emails, and also only allow them to give you their name and email. Don't let them go browse around and get lost. Now, this is an important second step here. After they see your landing page, the next thing is we want them to build some sort of relationship. How can they learn more about you and trust you without actually getting on the phone yet? So they fill out the lead magnet, they get your free offering or a PDF, a webinar, whatever you decide. Now you want to have some sort of relationship video where they can see who the owner is and learn a little bit more so they remember and have a face. If you don't have a face to a business, they don't remember. But when they watch your video, they're going to remember your face, your branding, and even if they don't watch the full thing, they'll still remember that. Next is you need to make sure that your analytics, your pixels, and your tracking is set up properly so you can successfully follow up with them. We want to be able to follow up with people through email, through advertisings, through all kinds of different methods, because if we already know that less than 1% of visitors come to our website and they do not convert, we need a way to follow up with them. And what we want to do is follow up with them with Google ads, Facebook ads, and emails so we can continue building that relationship. And I think most importantly, remind them to come back. And that's the thing. They get distracted. They don't sign up right away. So we need different ways to remind them to come back. And it works really successfully if they watch your video. That way they have a uh, face to the name or face to the brand. And then they start seeing your ads. That will start building trust and build authority from your business automatically without you even having to speak with them. Because now if they see your ads everywhere, just like you see Nike shoes everywhere after you search for them, that brand 
is a constant reminder and also an authority in that space. From there, we need to direct them to different resources. So if they do give you their email, we need to send them newsletters and blogs and resources, things that we can continue providing value and education. The key here is we know they're not signing up. We want to remind them to come back and then we want them to learn from us. So when they do schedule with us, they've already learned something. We've already provided value and they're more likely to work with us. So somebody could actually come from a Google ad. And this is what we usually see. Hit your lead magnet, provide their email, watch your video, and then they're going to immediately go and schedule. That's a great lead. Now, by then, we've also wanted to send them a few emails. That way it provides even more value. So maybe they know what to expect when they do the call. Tell them you're going to call them. Give them the link to your Zoom. Give them as much information for, so to make sure they actually show up to the call, but that they're also prepared when they are on that call. There's many different cool ways you can do to follow up with people. And that's the marketing funnel. If we only know that 1% or less are actually going to sign up right away, we can actually bump this if we follow up through multiple emails, through ads, through building authority with them, building value, giving them education, sending them reminders, asking them to schedule. We can actually increase this to about 15% conversion rate. And this is what I hear a lot of people I work with is, yes, I'm spending all this time and effort on marketing and ads, but I'm not getting results. Well, the results don't actually come until you follow up. So you're going to be wasting all your money over and over and over, losing 14% conversion rate when actually you need less ads, you need less advertising spend, you need less social media post, and you even need less visitors because all you have to do is increase your conversion rate optimization. And that's the key here. How can we increase conversion rates for you and your business? So I hope this video brought you a ton of value. I've got free landing pages that you can check out and resources where you can go learn more about this on our website. You can find that in the, in the description below. And of course, it'd be great if you subscribe so you can keep watching my training videos where I walk you through different types of marketing funnels to help you automate your marketing. So again, I'm Brad Smith with Automation Links. I hope this video brought you value. And I will see you on the next one.